The Saki family opened their butterfly business two years ago in Maya Center Village. It grew into something they never dreamed of. Belize Pupae Supply had just begun to get their shipments to the United Kingdom going when COVID-19 interrupted their operations. We were exporting sometime from December to about February or March when the pandemic came. Um, we had a lot of butterflies, we had more species, but then since the, when that pandemic hit us, we had to just, you know, scale down as much as we could. And it was very difficult. But they knew they couldn't stop because they were getting demand for pupae from Belize. They're getting requests from different parts of Europe and now even in Asia. So we used to ship on a weekly basis up until mid-March when everything shut down and then we, we stopped to ship them as well. So yeah, Because of the pandemic? Because of the pandemic, yep. Right. But there has also been interest from other countries. Um, yes, at the moment we have been getting interest from Canada, from New Zealand, and from Italy as well, and from, mm. I think, Germany. So we have four, you know, countries that you know that want the pupa so we're still working that out on the philippines i forgot to mention the philippines so the demand is there for these pupa yep. what do you think they like about the pupa coming from belize um i think they don't have the species there you know those big countries i think they they don't have any forest left so and then you know they want to buy pupa here and then they have big conservatories where they just okay. wait for the adult butterfly to emerge out of their pupa. The Sakis will tell you that pupa exportation is a lot of work. It involves precise calculations and a lot of careful packaging for this precious cargo. All this work happens in this breeding facility. We move them into different container size by size. So this is when they are um, 10 days old. These are when they are in their 13 days. And this here is when they are 16 days. These are when they are in their final stage. We check them one by one to see if they are ready to turn into pupa. So we remove them and put them into trays. These caterpillars stay in, in the caterpillar stage for um, 16 days. And after that, we move them and put them in the trays so they can hang like this. And when these pupae arrive at their destination, after two or three days, they emerge as beautiful butterflies to curious and admiring eyes in faraway countries. For Belize pupae supply, the demand is so high that they need time to increase their inventory. I think the numbers of pupa, okay. so we roughly want to ship like up to 3,000 pupa a week. So it's more than what we did before. So mm -hmm. we need to, you know, it's, we have a lot of buy buyers, so we want to share it amongst them. So the demand is there, it's just up to you guys to fulfill the demand? You have to fulfill the demand, yep, so it's up to us now. Did you guys ever imagine that when you had the idea way back in 2016 that it would grow into something where you're exporting? Uh, nope, we didn't know about that actually, so we just wanted to do it for visitors, for display, and then as we went along, we became aware of many opportunities, you know, so... I mean, four years ago, we, we were just probably had only like 30, 40 butterflies inside here. And you know, here we are with over 3,000 butterflies. <laughs> right. The Saki family uses this business to sustain their livelihoods, provide employment in their community, as well as to educate the public. They want Belizeans to take a risk like they did. So that is what we use to keep, you know, to help our employees to pay them, you know. So I know some of them have families too. So this is why, you know, we, we don't want to stop. We want to continue and eventually to hire more people. Uh, it creates employment, you know, for rural areas as well. And this will be a part of rural development in the future. You know, go for it. The opportunities will come along the way. Just don't give up. Just go for it. So that's what I have to tell them, you know, just no matter what the challenges are, you know, you can overcome that and opportunities will definitely come. And that's where they believe the government comes in as a driver of what is an emerging industry in Belize. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.